videos, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, click the big red subscription button, and click the notification bell so you never miss one of our videos. Hey guys, it's Maddie, and I'm super excited for today's video because it's my birthday party and it's Harry Potter themed. It's not my actual birthday, it's just my party. But my birthday is actually in a couple of days. And I have Maggie here, look at how cute she is. And I know you guys might be thinking she's not as fluffy as normal. It's because she actually got trim. I think she wants to be put down. Here you go, Fluffy. So for my party this year, I have 11 friends coming, 12 including me, and then I have five girls sleeping over, well, and then six for me. So I'm super excited. I think this is the year I've had the most kids come because I'm born in the summer. So usually people go away, so sometimes it's kind of sad because not a lot of people come, but this year I am super excited for, and I am turning 10. Not today though. And all my friends received a Harry Potter invitation just like this one. And instead of asking for gifts, I asked for a donation. So this is my donation box here because I'm going to be donating to the Humane Society. And if I open it up, I already have a donation from my from my grandma because she came for my birthday. So she gave me a donation, so that's in here. And then when my friends get here, I'll put their donations in here. And then another day, I'll be dropping it off at the Humane Society I'm donating to. I decided to do like a pet center kind of because I love animals. As you guys can tell, I have two of my own little fluffies, wherever they are. I think Sadie might be outside. Although the only thing that makes me kind of sad is it isn't too nice out right now. It's raining. You should have seen it this morning. It was pouring. Right now it's just kind of a sprinkle. So hopefully it gets nicer later because there's some outside fun that I'm going to show you guys. Okay guys, the next thing I want to show you are these treats. So my mom and aunt made a whole bunch of chocolates. So we have a little rat here. We have this hat. We have Harry Potter, just his glasses. We have an owl. Uh, where's, oh yeah, we have a lightning bolt here. And then we have an owl, which is like Hedwig. So I asked for this one to look like Hedwig because Hedwig's, Hedwig is Harry Potter's owl. So my mom and auntie made those and they just melted them into chocolate molds and they taste so good. I had a little bite of some because they did have a bee mold so we just ate all of those just kind of as treats and they tasted so good. I think all of my friends are going to love them. I mean if I do, I would hope my friends do. The next thing I have are the plates. So we actually went shopping a few days ago for the plates. Um, and we didn't have time to like order it on Amazon or anything. So they didn't have Harry Potter plates, but instead I just have these smaller heart plates. And then uh, I have the bigger versions that have hearts and it says love on it. I picked these because they had black on them and then they had shimmery rolls gold and silver. So those were just the plates I picked because I wasn't a big fan of any of the other ones. So I just decided to pick some ones that were kind of colorful and had some bling to them since they didn't have any Harry Potter plates. They didn't have anything Harry Potter themed there, which is kind of weird to think because Harry Potter is so popular nowadays. Speaking of Harry Potter, my mom, grandma, and aunt made all of these delicious cupcakes. And as you can see, they are themed in the Harry Potter house colors. So we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And you guys might be wondering why these ones have like the little toothpicks in them with the flags. It's actually because one of my friends is vegan and she can't have eggs or meat. So we got her some vegan cupcakes and that's why we marked them so that we don't get mixed up with all the other cupcakes because they look exactly like all the other cupcakes. And this one right here, it's mine because it has a teal wrapper. And you might be wondering why I decided to have green for Slytherin. It's actually because we did a Harry Potter unit in school and I was Slytherin. And kind of, if you were to put me into a house, I would actually be Slytherin because I'm kind of ambitious and cunning. So it kind of just fits with me. So I'm super excited for that. On to the fun stuff, goodie bags. Here's all the goodie bags my friends are gonna get. And then this one right here, it's actually my cousin Shay. So that's why this one has hearts on it because she's my cousin. She isn't coming when my friends are here. She's coming when all the girls are over for the sleepover because she has some stuff to do. Since she is a lot older than me. 
So here's mine, let me show you what's inside. But on the bag it says, I solemnly swear I am up to no good. And we got these bags on Etsy and they just ironed this on. So everyone has a name tag, this one says Maddie. And my mom did this one because it has a little heart for an eye. She likes to do that on my, and I like it too. I mean, it does look pretty cute. All right, now opening up my bag. I have my Harry Potter wand. All of my friends get a wand, and they're all differently colored. This one's kind of like a rose gold one, and I like it because it almost looks like something's dripping down from the top of it. And then the patterns are all different too, so you can see all of the colored and pattern ones sticking out. Next thing is everyone got a bracelet. Ooh, there's a lot in here. So in mine, I have one of each. So here we have Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and then we did have only a couple of Golden Snitch ones, so I gave them to some of my closest friends, and I have one for me. I also gave one to my cousin Gabe because he is my cousin. So how I decided for what friend got what type of bracelet, so if they're Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, or Ravenclaw, is I actually went by what we did in school for our Harry Potter houses. So hopefully they're all happy with what they get. And if they're not, I mean, I guess they can all trade with each other until they're happy. And the last thing is, is a chocolate frog. So my auntie folded all these boxes and she cut them out. And my mom made the chocolate frog molds and it's the same as the other ones. So here's what the chocolate frog looks like. And it's in a bag, so if it kind of melts, at least it's in the bag and not all over the box. So I hope my friends think these are yummy. I think they will since all of them like Harry Potter or should I say love Harry Potter. And here's the funny thing, I used to not like Harry Potter until we started to do the Harry Potter unit in school. So now I love Harry Potter, but ever since then I wasn't a big fan until now. So I'm super happy. I actually haven't watched all of the movies yet. I think I'm on the sixth one going to the Deathly Hollows. pretty sure. All right, now for the fun stuff. I'm gonna take you guys downstairs where we have some of my Harry Potter themed games. After that, I'm gonna take you guys outside to show you some of the fun things I have planned out there. In the back, I have my easel set up so we can play Potter Pictionary. We'll pick Harry Potter themed where it's out of the hat. One person will draw and then the others try and guess and whoever guesses it right will go next. And then up front, we have our Quidditch Pong. I'm so excited to play this one. So we made the hoops out of old badminton rackets and then taped them to pylons. And then we have a whole bunch of cups set up on the table and they are taped down so they don't get knocked over. Me and my friends will be grouped into the four Harry Potter houses. So we will have one team on each side of the tables to play against each other. And we have to throw the ping pong ball through one of the hoops and try and get it into one of the cups. If we get it in the red cups, it's two points. The middle silver cup is 10 points. And the single silver cup with golden is 50 points. And whichever team gets to 150 points first wins. Here, I'll give this a try. <laughs> Whoops. This might be harder than I thought. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to head outside. I'm so excited to show you guys. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, we have two awesome bouncy castles. This one's our gym. Let me show you around. Come on.
the perfect hiding cubby, and it keeps you all nice and nice and cold. Let me try and get up there. Okay. <gasps> down. <gasps> down higher. Now get up. Hold on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get. Up. <laughs> oh, I did. I'm still getting used to that. It's quite high up. I mean, for me, anyways. Okay, let me show you some of the other obstacles and the other side, and then we'll move on to the vlog. One of my faves. It's so fun. Right, Gabe? Yuppers. Wah! Okay. <laughs> Here I go. Woo! chance to check out our merch we have a whole bunch of different stuff we'll leave a link in the video description for that so make sure you go check it out okay guys we're we're here and it's called the race to the top but we like to call it the big vlog well I mean for me I like to call it the vlog I mean it kind of does look like a vlog I'm gonna give you a tour and then I'm gonna climb up This is a perfect space to cool off. So nice and cool. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Meteor's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey!